welcome back to Scrum and Scrum to another video by Static Ray One. Today we took a look at the behind the scenes article for September 2015. What we can expect this month is Balthazar's Raffle, The Lord of Vampirium Quests, Priftinus Waterfall Fishing, Double XP Weekend, Time to Train and more, and Clan Cup. So, starting up first and foremost is Balthazar's Raffle. It's very similar to last year, September. They're adding this gentleman called Balthazar who will be in a tent near Berthrop Lodestone and you can visit him daily to obtain a ticket and you can also complete one of two tasks to get more tickets. Either A, daily challenge, or B, search around lodestones within runescape to find his star act gilly willikers the clown now between the two daily challenge and finding this clown it would be more efficient to do your daily challenge i'm just throwing that out there so uh basically the prices the prizes they're offering are spring cleaners which are preloaded with 250 springs 100 million GP, 5 large protein packs, 1 portable bank, 3 death, death touch darts, and then all 6 golden barrows. So that's pretty cool. And then the quantity they have is right here, how many they're giving away of each. Uh, so between all of these, I would have to say I'd be going for the golden barrows personally, because that'd be, that'd be pretty cool to get that rare thing. Alright. So, and then something new they're adding is a uh, bargain barrel blowout for the raffle thing. Now, for every five tickets that you hand in, you can get this token called Rummage. And uh, after the raffle is over on October 1st, you can cash in the token and take a dip in the barrel of Balthazar. And what do you get inside this barrel? Well, You'll get lamps, resources, and a rare chance at a golden Acrise Barrow set. So that would be pretty cool to go for that golden Acrise Barrow set. Now, moving on to the Lord of Vampirium quests. Uh, this is a master level quest that they are adding to Castle Draken. And uh, basically the main theme and story behind this is Lord Draken has shown his face in public and there is no clue to what he wants or why he has chosen this moment to show his face in public. But nobody really cares. All is, as long as we bring an end to his reign, you will complete this quest. So you can either be killed or kill him. So choose between the two. Uh, here are some of the requirements you need to complete this quest. And um, yeah, there will be a boss fight fighting against uh, Lord Draken. So you will want to make sure you're fully prepared for whatever comes your way when you fight this guy. Because he sounds like he will be a little bit of a challenge figuring out his mechanics and such as is stated here so moving on to Priftinus waterfall fishing this is an idea from Rune Labs basically it's similar to Siren Stones it's a very low effort activity all you AFKers will love this thing for sure it is located in Priftinus between the clan districts of Melior and Chris so you will climb up on the sides of this waterfall to a secret fishing spot where you can kick back and fish new fish called crystal urchins. So I'm pretty intrigued what this new fish has to entail, what can we do with it, what it looks like, etc, etc. Now, you will be able to trade in urchins for rewards and experience including a crystal rod and home and new homes for a hermit crab 
which the hermit crab is this little guy right here now you can choose between a couple different options as we know so far different homes such as a treasure chest and an old boot an old boot being this guy here there's some concept art and this doesn't look like a treasure chest to me it looks like coral from the bottom of an ocean so it looks like there's at least three different homes you can choose for this uh, hermit crab so that's pretty cool now for the most I'm sure m most people are looking forward to this the double XP weekend which is happening on the 25th of September now double XP weekend is of course your chance to obtain double XP in any of the runescape skills making sure you're prepared make sure you grab all your all the resources you can in order to train on the weekend of the 25th so uh, there's some extra prizes from Balthazar's raffle which gives us bonus XP stars and protein packs and portable banks that will help with maximizing our XP gain for the weekend so make sure you prepare yourselves for that now time to train and more is a promotion on treasure hunter which you know of course gives us prismatic XP and XP accelerating items it's for the it's just the ticket pull for power levelers over the double XP weekend and so it's just talking about getting these special items that give bonuses uh, mining bonuses at the Seren stones so if you obtain these things it sounds like you'll either get a raise with uh, XP percentages how much XP you can gain per an hour or maybe obtaining mm, corrupted ore more often I'm not sure but it is a good guess and then they're saying they're upping the number of keep six slots to 50 which might be a benefit when you see uh, items uh, bleaky beautiful items that Lord of Vampirium has to offer so all right all right I'm just gonna say this keepsaking I am not a fan why I think it's mmm I don't think it offers people something on the positive side I find it to be negative why all right so here's my opinion let's say you go to Yakar Maru right one of the new runescape raid bosses someone shows up appearing to have no weapon or you know they show up with what seems to be a, like an oak longbow right and then they show up really with nothing on maybe a couple pieces of clothing but it isn't what it appears to be some sort of armor related stuff right and then so you're like alright so has this person showed up appearing to be mostly naked without armor without really a good weapon to use on this boss and then alright so let's right click this guy let's examine him to make sure he isn't fooling the whole team and you have to you have to take that extra step to confirm alright this guy's keepsake and stuff where he doesn't want to show anybody what he has on good for him bad for others alright that's what I have to say moving on to clan cup this is something that you have to register in before the fourth why because your clan your clan versus uh, challenges others other clans and it's your chance to prove your skill and your talent and there will be amazing prizes up for grabs uh, so let's say that so there's a raid cup right and so that's like the even more challenging the more uh, exhilarating reward that you can get as a clan and so they have different levels of uh, different cups that you can get as a reward to show alright so this is what your clan has achieved 
congratulations, that's really great. Shows your clan that you can strive for something higher. Now, um, moving on to next week's streams here. They're just talking about a selection of RuneFest teasers that you don't want to miss out. Whether you'll be at the event or watching from home. So make sure you check out the first episode on YouTube for that. Or you can watch it on Twitch. But that's about it for this behind the scenes article guys. want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And remember to gain XP for tis thy destiny.